Are tools like Gridsum dead? Is static site generation changing? Let's talk about it. So if you don't know, Gridsum was a hugely popular Vue.js tool probably a few years ago, and it claimed to be the kind of the best static generated generator out there for websites and apps. And really its claim to fame was that you can connect it to any CMS or data source that you wanted. So you'd be able to use your WordPress site, Drupal, Sanity, even connect it up to just data sources or the file system or Markdown or some kind of API. It would use this GraphQL API that you can then use in the front end and deploy as a static site to any website out there. And one thing a lot of people compared it to was Gatsby. And Gatsby was the React version of this. And I think Gridsum really took this idea of creating static sites and created it in using Vue, which I thought was really awesome. Actually, I did a bunch of videos on this back in the day. I created a video, I think one got 11,000 views. I think another one got like 30,000 views. Now at the time, there was definitely some limitations of using Gridsum. One of which is that you have to use GraphQL and you had to kind of use this kind of wonky page query right inside between your template and your script. And I didn't love it. If you look at the docs here and you look at the plugins, there is 252 plugins. So it had a lot of community involvement. A lot of people were interested in it. So you can connect it to up to all sorts of different CMSs or connect it up to different GraphQL, pipelines, Airtable. I showed you Google. So if you look at Gatsby.js, which is the React equivalent of this, it came first, it was much more popular. If you look at their plugins system, they had over 3,000. <laughs> So they had, you know, 10 times as many plugins as Gridsum. So I think right away, if people were looking for this type of solution to connect any data source up to their app, I think Gridsum already had a huge disadvantage because it was just not as popular. Throughout the years, I feel like this project was going great. And then if we look at the commits to it recently, it really hasn't had any commits in over two years. Um, there's lots of issues that have been building up. No one's been responding to them. And there's open questions of this project even being alive. And the creator of this project has just abandoned it. It's completely abandoned at this time. There has been a few people that have forked this project and started using it. There was a, at one time, a all the way back in 2020, an effort to convert it over to Vue 3. Of course, this is using Vue 2, so it's pretty much dead in the water right now, but it never went anywhere. It's funny, I still see comments like this where people are actually wanting to use Gridsum. This was just nine months ago, and they're building a headless CMS, and everybody's, hey, wasn't this dead? And they haven't really updated since 2019. And I would say if Gatsby in itself is also a little bit on life support. It's still being maintained and updated by Nellify. However, though, they have changed a lot of things. There used to be this thing called Gatsby Cloud, and now it's being merged in with Nellify Cloud. And I really feel like this pattern of creating your apps, it might be great for maybe a larger enterprise, but I think most people have found out that static site generation this way is a little cumbersome. But I think what people found out that Connecting to all these other data sources was great, but it took a long time to build the app. So if you had to actually build an app that had multiple different data sources, it would take, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, at least a few minutes to build it. And that was a really big issue. And then once it was out there, it wasn't easy to update anything. You would have to always build again and redeploy every time. And on top of this, using GraphQL, I'm a big fan of GraphQL but I feel like this was just like another layer on top of it, which became a little bit more cumbersome to work with. And so what really, I think what really is the answer to this, if you're listening to this today and you have this scenario where maybe you are connecting to a headless website using like Sanity or WordPress or something like that, and there's a whole bunch of CMSs out there, is to look at Nuxt, because Nuxt can do everything that that we just saw with Gridsum or Gatsby, but now it's in a much better, much more well-supported ecosystem of creators that are in developers who are creating plugins and everything for it. And Nux supports static site generation if you're interested, but you can also do server-side rendering. And I feel like 
I've been on the edge of like, what would I recommend for people today if they were creating a new website? Would I recommend them to go static site or if I'm recommending to go server side rendering? If I was gonna recommend somebody, I'll show, show you right here, I would definitely recommend the universal rendering mode in Nuxt. And it kind of gives you the best of both worlds in, in that sense that you can have your app server side rendered. It's gonna be really quick and snappy to get up and updated and then it downloads and hydrates the JavaScript in the background for you. And that's probably what I would recommend. So if I was going to connect to a WordPress site, maybe I would have some parts of it that get built during build time. And you can do that. You can still, and what's really nice in Nux, you can have some routes that are statically generated and you can some have some routes that are universally rendered. There might be times where you need more than universal mode or you might have some static routes, but you want them to update occasionally. Well, another nice option is in the route rules for Nux, you can add this with a number which adds a configurable time to live before it updates. It updates the cache. And there's also an ISR option. So you can kind of get that nice incremental static regeneration inside your app to give the best of both worlds. Now I know Gatsby, I think even Gridsim at one point was implementing that. I'm not sure if Gridsim ever got there, but that'll also help. So if you have a static site, instead of having to rebuild the whole site Every time something changes, you can use something like this. Also, if you want, really want a nice static site generator today, I would just go with VPress. If you want that sort of document, if you're creating like documentation site, it's really the new V and Vue powered. It's a static site generator. It's well supported by the Vue team and it has a great community behind it. So really Nuxt or VPress is the way to go today. So I'm really sad that Gridsum is dying. You can also see the heydays. It went up to about 6,000 downloads on NPM, but as of today, it's around 4,000. So it's less than what it was a year ago. So it's been falling and really these are very low numbers. I would not use Gridsum anymore. It is a dead project. And that's really sad to see view projects that were had so much potential uh, several years ago, just really die and the maintainers disappear and no one's using it. And I really feel like that was just a bunch of wasted effort. I don't know. It just makes me sad. Let me know what your thoughts of when Gridsum and VPress are. Leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.